Hey love tribe, welcome, welcome to Sarita's Intuitive Love Guidance. My name is Sarah and I'm going to be doing the Daily Divine Masculine and see how he or she is feeling towards you, Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine is just energy. When I use that, just, you know, if it's flip-flopped energies, flip the energies. This is also a collective. So if you would like to book a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. And also I have a Patreon account for my vip love tribe members you get free readings on there you get early access and like one-on-one -on -one love tribe communion <laughs> so if you would like to join um i will put the link down below all right let's just go ahead and see what is going on with your person today on how he is she, he or she is feeling towards you what is the major energies of how Divine Masculine is feeling towards you, Divine Femmes, today? We have a rest. So there may be some kind of break that you two are going through right now. And this break may have happened. We have fall leaves, September, October, November, December. It could also be a calm, peace energy, however it tailored to your situation. But I'm getting that there was some kind of break. Maybe someone ghosted you around that time, stopped talking, maybe stopped showing up for you. What is this rest energy about? Yeah, this person was in their divine masculine energy, very stubborn, prideful. They have, they might have turned their back on you. And if this is not around a fall energy, then this is just a current energy of you're not hearing from this person. There's non-action. They're in mental anguish and frustration, maybe stress, whether that's between you two or in life. And so right now they're currently masking some emotions and feelings. I do feel like this person is really wanting some kind of forgiveness, grace, but this person's hiding their face. And you can see in this picture too, this person's wearing a hoodie. So there's something here that either not, they're not revealing, they're not talking to you, not expressing. Or saying, what is this forgiveness energy, soulmate, and self-love? So to me, whenever I see the self-love energy, maybe they feel bad because they do have to work on self. And there's something here that's not allowing them to come to union with you just yet. This also could be a selfish energy. You know, they, they want you, even though this person's wearing gloves, there's something that they're hiding. And so maybe there's something here that's very deceptive. Could be a third party situation. Third parties doesn't always have to be another romantic situation. It could be a work, financial situation, life, ego, pride, stubbornness, maybe scared to reveal or open up about emotions or fall in love. But whatever your situation is, there's something here that this person knows that they feel very connected, but is being very selfish and, you know, very self-absorbed of a situation. Oh, wow. Didn't I just say deception? Yeah, there's something going on in the material world that is causing something. It could be a financial burden, a financial restraint. It could be something going on in the environment that's not allowing them to come forward and reveal their desire for you. And this person is feeling very unawakened. Whenever I see this energy, this is like a very depressed, sad, not living their truth not speaking up and so I feel this person is not really in a place that is revealing they're holding back they're concealing their feelings let's see why well, what are they masking what is divine masculine masking Yeah, they are numbing something and melancholy. Um, this is some kind of depressed energy. When you think of the memories of the past, something could have been significant around Christmas time. And I think it's due to something that there's a third party situation. The karmic is watching. Someone's watching. Could be another romantic situation. Mother, father figure. Maybe fi past relationships hurt from 
a situation, but I'm getting a third party where if your person's in a third party, then I feel that this person is very depressed in their situation. And so they may be drinking to mask reality. Could be gambling. There's something around spring, March, April, May, June. We did recently go in spring equinox, so something may be blooming and this third party may be kind of sensing something and could be watching this person, but yeah. There's some kind of divorce energy, so maybe worried about this third party going back to you. Maybe you're going through a separation and divorce, and it's very overwhelming with your person. What is this divorce energy about? Escapism. Yeah, I'm getting this person might possibly call you trying to escape from a third party relationship i see a mountain so i feel like mountains represent obstacles and challenges and it looks like this person is running toward the mountain so maybe this is an energy of finally not running from situations and facing something head on maybe there's an obstacle and challenge with a third party so they're going to be calling you either venting about it, talking about it, expressing something that maybe they want a separation, a divorce, or a breakup. Something may be no longer serving them. And it's going to be a very negative energy, kind of downloading things of how they feel about a third party. Like, I can't do this. This is, my life is gloomy. It's just, I feel like I'm in prison and jail and it's just having a bad day and they could just be, you know, offloading on you. This person could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or you could be, or the other, the karmic could be, but this is, if, if not a water sign, then this is a very, water represents our emotions and feelings. So they're going to like pour out their emotions and feelings and want a second chance. So I, I do feel that this is an energy of this person possibly or honestly really going through a divorce. You know, I feel they're going to finally say, hey, I'm ready for a new opportunity with you. For some, you, you know, you may be married to your third party. I mean, married to your person and you're going to receive a phone call saying they want another opportunity, that they still have passion for you. And they were running. They were trying to escape their feelings for you. But now they know that there's an opportunity here that they want to embrace. What is the second chance energy? Yeah, hoping, expecting, faith, and manifesting. I think this person is at their breaking point. Limit, final straw, overwhelmed. And they're in a situation that they're ready to come forward. Reveal something. What are they hoping for? What are they expecting? Yeah, I feel like there's something here that they know that they may have broke your trust. They may feel heartbroken by a situation. They know you are heartbroken and they're hoping that you will give them another opportunity because this person has been hiding their true feelings from you or even to a third party, masking something, pretending, living beyond means and may have gaslighted you in the past, but... It was all due to a third party situation. There was some kind of situation here that they couldn't reveal. It could be a family life, kids life, their own lack of confidence that did not allow them to fully open up to you. And so maybe this is going to be an opportunity of them finding confidence and strength to finally reveal. Tell me more about Divine Masculine on how they are feeling towards Divine Femmes. How does the 
divine masculine feel towards divine femmes. Ghosted, disappearing. Yeah, your person ghosted you. But there's something here with happiness and reconnecting. I feel your person is maybe wanting to come forward and express with this a phone call, text message, asking for some kind of forgiveness and a new opportunity and hoping and praying that this isn't your final straw and they know that they got to a breaking point and they're wanting to, I heard, rekindle a situation. Why do they want to rekindle a situation? <clears throat> because they want to regain the situation back. They know that they could be going through a storm right now. They're going through some turmoil. And they know it may be turmoil between you two. But they want this spark back between you. They want to rebuild intimacy and bond. When I see two of cups, I feel like there's the meeting energy. They had a spiritual awakening, a realization about something. And so red roses usually is symbolic to me of reconciliation. And your ex-lover is going to be coming forward with some kind of opportunity to rekindle a situation. They had a realization and I think this person now is trying to figure out which direction to go to. They're at a crossroads. Their heads could be in the clouds. Could be an air sign. Doesn't have to be, but they are very anxious and worried that maybe you are at your breaking point and won't accept them back. May try to convict them of their wrongs. So let's see what he or she wants to say to you. What does Divine Masculine want to say to Divine Femmes? So your person is saying, I do not like the tension our ending has left between us. Please understand I'm not ready to be accountable yet. So I feel that this person knows that you maybe y'all ended on a bad footing. Maybe they ghosted you and, you know, the ending, they just left you without any explanation. They didn't want to be accountable. They didn't want to explain themselves. And they are, they feel that. And now they're in an energy of that second chance, new opportunity of wanting to fall in love with you all over again. What else does he or she want to say to you? I am thinking of you. I wish I knew how to fix things between us. I miss you. So I, this could be the crossroads energy, unsure how to open up and explain their feelings towards you or their situation. Your person could have abandonment issues. So maybe, you know, from their childhood or past relationship, this is a cycle. So they kind of do that to you. What else does he or she want to say to you? I'm feeling so nostalgic recently. So this person is really thinking about you. And this is why they're wanting to come back around. They're thinking about the memories, thinking about you. When you jump, I jump. I follow your every command. So maybe some of you have been in resistant, blocking, rejecting, denying. And so it's almost like them afraid to reach out or or say something so it's kind of like they're wanting to follow however you respond or act if you've been getting dreams about your person it's because they've been dreaming about you and that no one will ever compare to you you have left a lasting impression and they want to make things right between y'all again and this is why they ghosted you because i couldn't process what i was feeling and that could be the numbing energy, fear, doubt, worry. They were under the influence of a third party, so they were so scared to reveal them their, their truth. 
but just know that I think of you all the time and they know that they have closed themselves off for far too long. So let's go ahead and give you an advice. What advice do you have for divine femmes that are watching? Personal power. Do not give up. Use your natural strength to help yourself and others. So this is something that maybe you've been struggling with at the moment with yourself. But you got to remember that no one is you and that is your superpower. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your values, your self-worth. You have the resiliency to get up, to help yourself, and to give to others. But make sure, just like in the airplane, put your oxygen mask on first before you can help others. And so take care of you because there's only one of you. All right, guys, much love.